She's a horrible crap day. Eight degrees. The wind's blowing. Decide to go fishing, why not? But the sea's calm. Let's do it, see if we can catch a fish. Right, let's go for it. Oh, it's windy. That's when you catch the big fish. Brandon's sitting up, sitting up there. We've just grabbed everything in the hurry. Normally I have two chopping boards and two knives. I only got one. Why, they say? One for bait and one for a nice clean fish. We normally have a water tank. We haven't got one. <laughs> Look at the rod. For all you fishermen out there, I've got 80 pound braid with a rusty hook because I haven't been fishing for a while. And Brendan's running a funny looking sinker, which I haven't... Someone will tell me what they are. My setup. It's pretty flash. Just got to untangle it there. An hour later, I'm still going. Getting there. For our bait, we've got our old uh, squid from the old supermarket. It's not thawed out, so we're going to have to try and thaw it out. Don't know how in the... It's, it's probably going to ice up even more being out here because it's so bloody cold. Um, but we'll see how we go. We'll just hack at it till we uh, we cut our finger. <laughs> and then we're off to the hospital. And actually an hour 20 later, finally got untangled. I don't know why you're watching this because you fishermen ain't going to learn anything from it. Anyway, um, time for baiting up. Brendan's already been hacking apart this. Got, got fish stuck in the car. I'll probably stink that out for at least, at least a year. I always say big bait, big fish. We'll see what we can do with that sucker, eh? Right, let's get it in the, in the, in the ocean. I always say a bad day's fishing is better than a good day's work. I don't know about that, bloody freezing. We had to get in the car because it's so cold. So we're just going to sit in here and waste all our gas because fuel prices are really good at the moment. Might as well just go to the supermarket and get your own fish. Oh, it's starting to, starting to move. Or is that just the 30k winds? Braid's floating around like a kite. The drag's dragged down into the rocks. I'm going to get a good snag and lose all my gear. We've got sticks floating around in the water. Low tide. We haven't got a chance to catch fish. If we catch a fish, it's going to be a miracle. Looks like old Brendan's hunkered down for the day in there. Too lazy to get out. Come on, check your rod, mate. Oh, Brendan's got something. All the odds are against us. What's he got? Oh, I jumped off. Yeah, just there, mate. I've got a really big fish on. I've caught a big... Get it coming for me! No, dollfish. Yeah, dollfish. Yeah. Oh, friend, it's got something. When the odds are against you, the fish don't stop biting. I don't know, I just can't understand this fishing. Wait, you lost another one! Brendan's uh, just been, uh, every fish has got off, Not just every every fish I've got has been on the hook, so he's just putting another rusty hook on. Alright crew, anyone who's squeamish, look away. I've really put it out of its, out of its misery, humanely. Yeah, you do a little dogfish. Grey boy. No, not a dogfish, grey boy.
Ja, siehst du. Weg zu wird. Das ist ein guter Start. Alrighty, so we've got two uh, grey boys and one gurnard. So probably just spent just as long down here than we do in the supermarket. Brendan's back on again. Last one was a gurnard. Problem here, we've got trying to get it up the rocks. <laughs> oh yeah, mine's going now too. Catch it to me, fish. Everyone's coming down to see us. Brendan's cutting that one down there. He's lost all his hooks and uh, all you lost all your sinkers. And he's going back some more. Could be another video. Alright, that's time. We've caught 14 fish. Right, we're wet and drowned, so we're off. See you later. We're packing up to go and the sun's come out and uh, the temperature's gone up, up a little bit. So it's probably a good idea to check your, your weather forecast when you go out. Right. Got my uh, my stone out, put some water on it. So I oh, don't don't you're not gonna learn any tricks from this. <laughs> it's probably gonna get blunter. <laughs> oh, we, we threw all them we threw most of them back because we caught too many. Because what you expert fishermen. No, it's definitely blunter. But we just stuffed a really good knife. More like fish knife. Right, I've been working at this knife for 10 minutes now and it's still just as blunt. Can't seem to get that end. <laughs> By the last one, I get good at it. Hey, how much? Yeah. That's each way? Yeah, how much? All right, we'll cut up um, all our shark. Yeah, all our grey boy. We've just got that one to chop up. Doesn't that look appetising? And we're going to batter it and crumb it, and then we'll uh, we'll cook it up for lunch tomorrow. All the fish done. Right, let's put it in the fridge, eh? And it's going to be breakfast, lunch, and tea. Alrighty, 